breaking news in Sacramento right now. Grant Union High School is under an emergency lockdown as police are investigating a shooting. We also know that Twin Rivers Police and Sacramento Police are working together right now. Sacramento Police say they are assisting in this. They say there is no outstanding threat right now, but students are sheltering in place. We do know uh, that a message from the school's website says that the situation is under control, that they will update and send out further information as soon as possible. Let's go now to Sacramento PD. Sac Sergeant Carlos Martinez giving us an update on the situation. Let's listen in. Correct. So before just before 10 o'clock, we received a shot spotter call uh, at the area uh, at Grant High School. And during that same time, we uh, Twin Rivers also received a call. And so we responded to Grant High School. Um, when we got there, we worked in conjunction with Twin Rivers and located a student that had been shot in the arm. Uh, that student was quickly transported to an area hospital. Uh, he sustained a, a gunshot wound, non-life threatening, non-critical to his arm. And working together with Twin Rivers, they quickly apprehended the uh, individual involved in the shooting down the street. Um, and the school remains in lockdown right now and the school district will forward more information when that comes available regarding releasing the students. But at this time, it's an active investigation. Uh, officers will be on scene for a little while longer, uh, work in the case, and uh, once we get more information, we'll release that to you. You said it was a male student who had been shot? Correct. Uh, both individuals involved are male students, uh, and it was a targeted, not any kind of other incident, it was just a targeted situation between two students. For the person who was apprehended, was Correct. So the shooting took place on campus? It did, and it took place on campus, but not inside a building. Was it in that front parking lot right around Grand where we had seen a lot of Correct, in the, in the parking lot area. Are both of these students in the same grade? Are they affiliated in any sort that, of I don't have that information at this time. I know they are both uh, juveniles. They're both teenagers, uh, but their exact uh, status as far as school goes, I, have, I don't have that information. How many students saw this happen? Uh, I don't have the exact numbers. Um, obviously, there's witnesses or schools that, uh, in session when it happened. I don't have exact numbers on, on how many students actually saw what happened. I saw a canine officer at a church about a block away from that front parking lot right on Grand Avenue. It looked like they were searching. Is that where that shooter was, was apprehended, or, or was there some sort of scene at that church? No, it, it, the suspect was apprehended away from the school, and so I'm assuming that the canine was actually working the, the call and looking for the suspect at that time, or was involved in the investigation. Anytime there's a shooting, there's concern. When you have a shooting on a school campus, yes. when it was a student who was the shooter, what concerns you about the circumstances here? So I, again, that's why I mentioned it is a targeted shooting, not an active school shooter or anything like that. We want to make sure the parents are aware that the situation was uh, brought to a conclusion as far as an active or any kind of situation like that. Uh, it was targeted. It's not an active shooter. The suspect is detained. Uh, there is no threat to the school or the students at this time. Officers are in, on scene investigating the incident. So um, at this point, there's no threat to the community or to the school itself. And it was great collaboration between both agencies and the school district to bring this to a close so quickly. Was the shooter where in that teenage high school range? I, I don't have that information, but they're, they're both teenagers. That's what I can give you for right now. Yeah. I, I saw a few of us news media speaking with a woman who happens to own the property right across the street from the school. She said her son is a school employee and that her son might have stepped in to break something up. Are, are those reports verified? Is that something you've heard? Yeah, I, I, I don't want to speak on the investigation just because I don't know what the details are and I don't want to give you false information. So uh, as the information develops, obviously we'll be able to provide more to it. But what we can say is there was definitely a shooting. Uh, there was definitely a victim that sustained a gunshot wound to the arm, transported to the hospital, um, and he is in good condition. Um, besides a gunshot wound and the suspect is detained at this time and so there is no threat to the school what led to the actual uh, incident we don't have that that's part of the investigation that we'll be looking into you said the campus is all, still on lockdown correct what's happening there are you searching the campus right no so the, the it's part of the investigation obviously we don't know 
if there's more information that, that needs to be relayed from students or also the other issue is obviously uh, releasing students uh, so quickly and so that's going to be something that the school district has to come up with and make a decision. Do they release the students? Do they hold class still? Um, and I know parents are concerned so I'm sure that if parents show up and they need their, their student they will release them to them uh, but at this time they're just holding on to students uh, and continue with classes at this point. What can you tell parents as obviously you mentioned they're concerned and they're probably watching and keeping up on social media and trying to get information where can they get the latest updates and can they expect an estimated time to come maybe to the job? Correct. So for us, as part of the investigation, we will give information through Twitter. We'll update on Twitter. The school district has the ability and they will be do sending out a letter and a notification to the parents the way they usually communicate to parents. Uh, so that will be coming from the school district itself. And I know you said that this was targeted. Is there any sort of fear of retaliation at this point, maybe from other students, other organizations? Yeah, so that's part of the investigation. We don't have that those details as of yet, but again, it was not some, uh, you know, school shooting. It was literally a targeted situation, and so we don't have all those details. Once that comes available, we can kind of give you more information at that time. With that word targeted, do you believe that either student was a member of some sort of gang or organization? Yeah, that we don't have. We know that obviously it was between them two. Uh, it wasn't something that, again, the that we've seen in other, you know, other sh school shootings. This is not a school shooting. This is an incident that happened on campus, but not a school shooting. And One more question, guys. A little technical, was it Twin Rivers who apprehended the other student, or was it you guys who did? It was a combination. So they both worked together for the apprehension. So I don't have exactly which officer, if it was a SAC PD or Twin Rivers, but it was a collaboration between both agencies that made it happen and were able to take the, the uh, suspect into custody. And one gunshot? And one gunshot wound, correct. Hey, okay. thank you guys. Thank you. And again, you just heard uh, Sergeant Carlos Martinez from the Sacramento Police Department updating us on that breaking news out of Del Paso Heights Grant Union High School and the shooting investigation. Again, he wanted to reiterate that again, this is not a school shooting where you have someone at a school shooting several people. This was a targeted incident, he said, between two male students that happened on campus but in the parking lot, so not in a building, but during school hours. So we don't know if there were witnesses or if any of the kids there saw anything. We know that there's a no more immediate threat. However, they are still keeping kids in the classroom, sheltering them in place while this active investigation continues. Obviously, they don't want kids trampling maybe very important evidence. They did catch the uh, alleged shooter, the suspected shooter off campus, not far from the campus, they say. And uh, again, they are also saying that both of the people involved are teenagers, two male students at the school. The student who was shot in the arm, he says that this is not a life-threatening injury and that it's not critical and that that male student's expected to survive. Just to give you a better idea of where Grant Union High School is located, again, it's in Del Paso Heights. It's right off of Interstate 80, off of that Marysville Boulevard, Rayleigh Boulevard exit. And thanks for staying with us here on KCRA 3 News at noon. We continue to follow breaking news at Grant Union High School where a shooting investigation is underway after one student was shot by another male student on campus. Let's go to KCRA 3's Brittany Hope who is nearby and those kids are still sheltering Hi. in place though, right Brittany, for very good reason. Yeah, Lisa, of course, and I'm just checking my phone because truly 30 seconds ago, we just finished with Sacramento police. So here's everything that we've learned so far. First message is for parents. Yes, students are still in lockdown. They're still sheltering in place, and that's for a few different reasons. The first reason is really just so that investigators can look at the entire campus and make sure they're not missing any sort of evidence. The second reason is police say that there were some students who witnessed this. They say it happened in that front parking lot right near Grand Avenue on campus. So they're keeping all of the students there for the integrity of that investigation. But we did just learn that the student who shot another student was arrested somewhere off campus after that student fled. So at this point, officers believe there's not any danger to any of the students who are at the school, anyone in the community here. They say the teenage student who shot another student has been arrested at this point. As for the student who was shot, they aren't releasing any ages, but we were just told that that student was shot in the arm. 
was brought to the hospital and is expected to be okay. Police do say that this was a targeted shooting. They weren't able to say at this point why they believe it was targeted. If there's any fear of any sort of retaliation, they say that is all part of this investigation. That is why they are keeping students on campus at this point. Now we are just here at the Sacramento Police Station. That's just a few blocks from campus. They brought all the media here so that we could ask questions. As soon as we wrap up this live shot, we're going to head back to the school so we can try to talk to some more parents. I know as we were wrapping up there, we saw people who were trying to pull up to get their students. At this point, the school district is still advising parents to hold tight. They say students are safe, but there's still just so much going on at that investigation. At this point, they want students to stay inside. Lisa? Yes, and Brittany, on that note, we're actually just getting word from Grant Union High School that parents will be able to pick up their children. They're just waiting for the all clear from police. Uh, so whereas before they were telling parents, stay away, don't come to the campus. It looks like that may be changing uh, momentarily. Brady Hope, thank you so much for the latest information. We appreciate you getting there so quickly. And again, the Sacramento Police Department reiterated this is not a school shooting where someone is there school shooting multiple people. They say this was a targeted incident that happened to happen on the school campus. But as you heard Brittany Hope say that there were witnesses, some student witnesses who saw what happened. It's gonna be a very traumatic situation. The student who was shot, we're told that student is uh, not in critical condition. It's non-life threatening injury and should make a full recovery. So that is also great news to hear. And there's no immediate threat to the surrounding neighborhood there in Del Paso Heights. If you wanna get the latest on the situation, make sure you've got the KCRA3 app downloaded to your phone. It's free to download and enable those push alerts so you get informed immediately on any new developments.